What's happening everyone? My name is Phil with PrecisionLED.com and today we have a 2015 Subaru WRX we'll be installing LED interior lights on. Now this installation is compatible with your models 2011 through 2016, including the STI model 2014 to 2016. Today we're using a premium 5730 style LED conversion kit from PrecisionLED.com and that includes interior trim tools that will help with the installation. We have a four shape wedge tool, serrated knife tool, as well as a pointed wedge tool that you'll see in the video. The lights we're installing today are the front overhead map lights, the vanity mirror lights, the rear dome light, the license plate lights, the trunk light, as well as the backup reverse lights. Let's go ahead and get started. We're looking now at the front overhead map lights. As you can see, we've already put an LED on one side. We'll show you how to do it on the other. Now for this particular vehicle, this one did come in used. And as you can see, someone used a flathead screwdriver to mess around with this before. And they left these really large gouge marks here. That is what these tools are for uh, to prevent that. We're using the serrated knife tool here, the edge here, and you'll see indentations where the tools are supposed to go. So insert in, you pry back, and that helps to release the housing. Go on the other side, do the other one. And then you can use the flat end here in the middle. And that pops the whole panel out. And as you can see, these tabs here are stationary and these ones here bend a little bit. And these are the ones that you are removing against. Now we have a 29 millimeter type halogen bulb in here. I'm gonna remove that one and replace it with our new LED. This is a direct replacement. Just goes right in. You wanna make sure the LED board is slightly angled facing the passenger side and this one slightly angled facing the driver's side to get the best light output. These are also non-polarity specific, so that means that you can plug it in this way or you can turn it around, plug it in the other way and the circuitry is smart enough to know which way it should send power to turn them on. When you put this lens cover back on, the back side here with the tabs go in first, and then you apply pressure here and here to lock it back in place. For the vanity overhead mirror lights, we have a single 29 millimeter by five millimeter bulb. You can use the pointed wedge tool, get down here at the bottom and push in and that releases our lens cover. You're gonna then take the wedge tool and pop out the old bulb. And that one's a little bit hot, so I've got a cloth here. That's the old halogen bulb. We're replacing it here with one of our high power vanity mirror light bulbs. That one goes right in. Make sure that the boards are facing forward. The lens cover, you want to do the top side first, and then push down at the bottom, and you're all set. For the rear overhead dome light, we're going to be using the back end of our crowbar shape tool. And you come in here from the side, furthest away from the switch, insert in, and then twist to pull down. And you want to make sure that you're separating between here and here versus the actual back here, which is holding this entire assembly into the roof liner. But essentially, you are forcing against these clips here, and these ones in the back are stationary. Now that you have that off, it reveals a festoon bulb. And this one might be a little hot, so we're gonna use a cloth just to help us remove. And we do have to twist this one a little bit. There are flat ends on the, on the end caps here, this bulb, and you have to twist them in order to help remove. Hopefully, you can see the flat end here that we're working with. We have the new LED here. This one does not have the flat ends on it, so you won't have to rotate or anything. 
straight replacement. You want to make sure that the LED board is facing down. These are non-polarity specific, so it should work either way. Test the light. That looks good. And now we're going to put this lens cover back on. Remember, the back side goes in first, closest to the switch, and you push these in to lock it in place. And that's it. For our interior trunk light, we're going to use this pointed section here of our asserted knife tool. And on the back, right here and right here, there's clips. What you can try to do is to pinch right here to remove, or you can come in from the back side here and push it out instead. You got one side out, but now you should be able to jiggle this loose, and that comes out. And that reveals a T10 style bulb. This one's a bit hot, so I'm gonna use a cloth to remove it. And that one comes right out. We've got a new T10 that we'll be putting in here. And this one's actually a really nice upgrade. The trunk lighting is always pretty poor in the Subarus. This one goes right in. It's nice and bright. And we're gonna take our cover. Now there's a rounded side a rounded side here and a flat side. Flat side goes towards the top. You push it in until they click into place on both sides. There you go. We're looking here at the interior of the trunk where the backup reverse light can be accessed. We're gonna be taking off this clip here and this clip here at the bottom and flipping this panel up so that you can push this interior liner all the way back to access. So we'll do that now. We're gonna use just one of our tools here, the shredded knife tool, coming from the side here. You're separating the black piece from the clear plastic piece here. That comes out pretty nicely. On the bottom here, Moving this clip and we're going to flip this panel up and that'll allow us to now grab our liner and all the way back and now we have access to the bowl all right right here this is our backup reverse light so we're going to Twist it counterclockwise to remove. That's the old bowl. Take that one out and put in our new LED. And right now we're gonna test it to make sure it works. There we go. Works fine. We'll turn that one off. And now we're gonna insert this one back in. Insert it back in. Find the grooves. And once you have the grooves in, twist it clockwise to lock it back in place. Now the reinstallation, the most important part when you're bringing this back is this piece right here. This has to slide under the plastic here all the way, all the way back over. If you can see, You can see it just starting to come in to feel the view right here. So you're gonna use one of the tools to help you bring this over. And then you're gonna put this clip back in place. We're gonna start by putting half it in. Put the other half in. That side's in. Put this down. And now the rest of this, you need to make sure that this liner goes in between the rubber. Just like this. Kind of roll up with your fingers to get the rubber to go over the top 
of the liner. That one's back in. You want to separate these two pieces. Clear plastic goes in first, sets it in place, put the black piece in, that locks it in place. This one's all set. For the license plate light, we need to access these bulbs here, actually from the inside, and that means we're going to remove the rear liner. We have a number of tabs here around that we're going to get rid of. So we use the same tool, the straight knife tool here, come in, pop up the center, and pull each one out. Go all the way around and do that. Now, you can see right here and right here, that is where the license plate lights are. You know, twist it clockwise to remove, and you'll see the bulb. I'm just gonna take one out, put in one of our LEDs here. We'll go ahead and test to make sure that the polarity, and they work. Put it back in the socket here. Wanna make sure that you're all the way in flush against the panel, and then lock it in place by turning clockwise. That one's all set. We'll do the other side. Put our new one in. Lock that one in. All right, now we just need to put all the liner pieces back in place, and you're all set. Basic concept here, you wanna make sure that these are separated. Line this panel up. Insert, and when it's in, then you press down to lock it in place. We'll do that all around. That's it. And that's the end of the installation. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us at help at precisionled.com or you can reach us online and submit a support ticket at www.precisionled.com slash contact. Please like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video or enjoyed the process for what we do. It really does help us out when we make the next one knowing that there's people out there watching the videos. Have a good one.